What is up everybody? I am super pumped right now because in two days, I'm going on vacation. My wife and my two kids, we're gonna go to Galveston, Texas and we're gonna get on a carnival cruise for, I think it's like five days. We're gonna see uh, Cozumel, Montego Bay, Jamaica, and Grand Caymans. But I think the most thing that I am most excited about is the food and not having to work. Uh, in preparation for this vacation, of course I'm gathering up my camera and some film and different things and I thought, you know what, there's probably a lot of you guys that go on these trips and you want to take good pictures on your trip. You want to have an awesome reel of photos when you get back. So I thought, why not do a little video tutorial about how to get great photos on your vacation. With any camera, it doesn't matter if you have a super expensive camera or just your iPhone. Now if I was to summarize this whole video up in one sentence, it would be this. Don't say cheese. Because when you just line up and you just get side by side and everybody puts your arm around each other, you know, those pictures are so overdone that they do not tell the story of what's going on in a moment. It, th those type of photos require that you narrate the photo for the viewer. And sure, you're gonna grab a couple of those, no problem, but if your whole vacation is full of photos like that, nobody's really gonna wanna look at your photos. But if you follow these tips that I'm about to share with you, you're gonna be able to post these photos online and people are literally going to go crazy for them. So, let's hop right in. I just got like four tips for you about how to take amazing vacation photos. So number one, look for emotion. You want to photograph emotion in people. That is what is most fully going to tell the story of how you felt and what that moment was like in your life and on your trip. Photograph emotion and you have to anticipate emotion. If you know that you're about to hand your child a great big triple scoop ice cream, get your camera ready. Or if you know that you guys are about to step foot on the beach for the first time, get the camera ready. And don't focus on the beach, focus on the facial expressions. Focus on the laughter. If, if your little kid drops the ice cream cone, grab the camera because there's about to be some Hello. It's totally the same day and same clip and the same shirt that I was just wearing. Hopefully the camera continues to work. But as I was saying, focus on the emotion. Try to capture and anticipate a reaction, the excitement of a moment. It's gonna make a great shot. Now up next, number two, try to photograph motion. So number one was emotion, number two is motion. You're gonna wanna focus on candid movement. Don't just get everybody to line up and stand still and then they have to explain what's going on. If you're running to the beach, capture the running. If you're, if you're hiking, capture a picture of somebody climbing up a big rock or somebody jumping off of a ledge into a pool or something like that. You want to capture movement because movement is gonna tell its own story. Capture photos of a busy street and cars going by. And if you can put it on a tripod and do a slow shutter speed and have the light trails or a milky, cloudy, flowing waterfall or somebody crossing the street in a busy crosswalk with some cool line work on the road, anything like that where something is happening and you can have your camera ready, photographing movement and motion is gonna tell such a better story. It's gonna make for great photos. Okay, number three, photograph text. This one is so much fun because there is so much text around us that tells the story of what's going on in our life that we so often overlook and forget to even notice. But if you start looking for text that tells the story of what's going on on your trip, you're gonna love it and you're gonna see so many opportunities to take photos of it. This could be uh, the name of the town on the water tower or the welcome to sign as you enter the city or the, the sign on the front of your hotel or the menu at your restaurant or even 
street signs like a stop sign or caution, falling rock or curvy road or any type of descriptor text that tells the viewer what's going on in the scene around you. This is gonna be so much fun and I can't wait to see the text that you photograph that people are literally gonna freak out over on your photos. And lastly, number four, try to photograph local people doing local things. I don't care where you go, I don't care how far from home you are, if you leave your town and go to the next town over, what you're gonna find anywhere you go is this little subculture of people that look a little bit different, they talk a little bit different, the vehicles they drive are a little different, the food that they serve, the way that their shops look, the way their town square looks, is all gonna be unique even if it's just ever so slightly. So try to photograph local people doing local things candidly and try to capture the little subculture of the area that you're in. And I promise you, these are gonna be some of your most favorite shots of your trip. And guys, that's pretty much it. Follow these four tips and your vacation photos are just gonna just go over the top. People are gonna freak out about them. You're gonna love them. You're gonna be so proud of your work and it's gonna tell the story of your trip so much better. All of these are really pretty easy. You can do these with any camera. You can do them with your phone. You can do them with a disposable camera. You really don't have to worry too much about quality, but if you are shooting for great quality, you can definitely do that. It's just gonna enhance things that much more. If you need help with that, I wanna encourage you to watch one of these videos here where I talk about how to execute high quality images. And guys, look, if you're trying to grow in your photography and be a better photographer, whether that's to make money or just to tell the story of your life in a more captivating way, I would love it if you would subscribe to this channel. Comment on this post. Let me know what videos you want to see more of. Let me know how long you've been shooting, where your vacation is coming up. I would just love to get to know you guys. That's something I feel like I'm lacking a little bit on my channel is I want to engage with my viewers. So please do me a favor reach out to me, like this video, comment, and definitely subscribe. All right, hey, I'll see you guys in the next video.